All right, this is Brad Dix with uh, the class for CMA. This is science fiction and evolution in time. So what is science fiction? Science fiction can be notated as any type of media that is out of the ordinary, uses scientific fact to make fiction. Um, it can be, you know, it, if it includes aliens, robots, um, you know, clones, dinosaurs, clones of dinosaurs, and time travel. So, where did it all start? First off, let me, uh, this isn't really a great attire, so uh, maybe I should change. That's better. The first sci-fi movie to ever emerge was Trip to the Moon by George Millier, which was noted for its fantastic special effects for its time. Another movie, Metropolis, was also noted for its fantastic special effects for its time. These movies were pave setters back in the day when sci-fi was just beginning. In the 1950s during the Cold War, an explosion of invasion movies happened to play on our fear of the actual invasion of America. But one of the most memorable movies about invasion was Invasion of the Body Snatchers. What started off as a historical educational show in Britain in 1963 grew into much, much more. Doctor Who centers on a 900-year-old alien who travels through time and space to save lives and is still on today. Quite this pace setter if you ask me. One major infamous staple in science fiction history that is very well known and very well received are Star Trek and Star Wars. Personally, I like Star Trek better. Star Wars is better. It doesn't matter. It has actual applicable physics in Star Trek. Star Trek's better. But I could just reflect your phaser blast with my lightsaber. Over. Do you do you really want to have this conversation right now? Do you really? Yeah. The needs of the many outweigh the needs of the one that are few. Do or do not. There is no try. Ah! <sighs> Sorry about that. Star Trek and Star Wars have always had fans up in arms against each other, but both franchises have always displayed immaculate special effects and have captivated audiences for decades. Both are still going strong, so I don't think things will change any time soon. I, Robot, and Bicentennial Man are two films inspired by author Isaac Asimov, who wrote some 500 works. Another author, Philip K. Dick, inspired Blade Runner and Total Recall, amongst other films. There has always been films inspired by authors, and this will continue as long as we stay in love with our imagination. What's next for sci-fi? The past few years have been very prosperous, but who knows? I think the decision is up to us to do the best we can in our respective fields. I hope you've enjoyed. Thank you.